Shalom Aleichem, Ve'ekol, Yisrael, Viru, Amen. This is Daniel Moshe Johnson coming to you live from Quebec, um, a little bit north of, um, between Montreal and Ottawa. Uh, yeah, just taking in some good sun. I'm just sitting here in the uh, private vehicle. Um, and I've come across a few videos on YouTube uh, regarding black Democrats and... Uh, and see, I'm very careful with that word because adjectives, modifiers, especially where human beings are concerned, it can never identify such. And that term actually came into circulation around the 14th century. This is stuff that's, I mean, is out there. It's educational information. It's stuff you should know because most of society are illiterate and even... Um, in our judicial system, they have adapted such uh, Crayola aspects of uh, trying to identify flesh humans and flesh identified uh, participants of society with white and black and all these sorts of social things. But as far as the United States is concerned, my, my parents are always Republicans. Um, they always voted that way. And that, that's what it was. I mean, at a young age, I understood the uh, democratic uh, process and the representation because you have to study a lot about the politics of uh, certain individuals that come into office, the states that they operate and are elected in. And there's been no secret that the Democratic Party has not been representation of people um, from certain uh, walks of life. But I want to get beyond this situation of uh, identifying Americans as colors because of the social illiteracy of the world, namely the United States, uh, which is really based in pedigrees and social finances and uh, economical levels, which then in turn describes and what becomes the definition of community uh, safe zones, which is connected to real estate value, etc., etc., cetera, etc., cetera, uh, arbitrary systems, policing, schools, education, transportation. So that's the reality of these terms. They all it's all based in finances. So once we move beyond the finances and we expose the reality of the districts, then we understand that. Crayola concepts of humanity is really an illusion. And what we're really dealing with here is evil. Evil on different levels. And what is evil? That which goes against the natural law of loan space and time. And also occupation. Occupation is the current location of the planet. No one built the planet. At least the architects have not identified themselves. So until that happens, nobody really owns anything. So that means that the judicial system and the laws and the governance of the planet should indicate fair play. What is fair play? We're talking now, and I'm going to go back to the word black Democrats, black Republicans. Since we're using this code system as identity, which is being accepted by you every day and everybody else that wants to play the game. But at the end of the day, I haven't seen white or black, if we want to use those terms, escape the final analysis. And until that happens, I think you need to recheck uh, your identification of placing yourself as a grandmaster architect that can actually identify the origin of humanity and also its uh, reflection in the sunlight and what you deem to be an identity or nationalism. But as far as the political system that we have that is identified as Democrats and Republican, I would have to lean towards the Republicans because, like I said, that's what I grew up in. My parents were always considerate and respectful of uh, what was being said and who represented the Republican Party. And from what I see right now, like I said, I'm a 100% Trump fan from before because this is, uh, you have to like a person. And once you like them, you learn more about them. You can't draw an opinion about someone that you don't know because it's 
publicly uh, socially accepted at that particular time because this is not about popularity contests this is about legislation of policies and also about uh, what's considered progress in the uh, government level these percentages of success as far as unemployment is concerned of all people not just people that we want to classify as pigment variations because everybody is important America is a great country uh, it was founded on a certain set of documentation that has a premise in uh, Christian based religion and Judea Judea Christian uh, values and you know principles and stuff like that which is the reason why we have this moment of free space where we can actually express left or right so without that premise of that foundation there would be no opportunity to think left or think right this is very important to understand because at the end of the day, uh, the two-party system um, is a failure because there should only be one direction. A long time ago, I used to think, okay, democracy, Democratic Party. But it doesn't work that way because democracy doesn't reflect the values of a Democratic leaning. I'm quite sure there's, there's been great things done under the guise of uh, democracy, I mean, Democratic Party. Um... Obama changed a lot because we have these issues with pigment. And because of pigment variations and pigment distinctions and divides society, uh, we've opened up old ignorance and prejudices that has not been covered, you know, in the past uh, several decades. And this is very important because if you put icing on the cake uh, after the cake is baked, then we can't really specify the ingredients because the icing covers up even that which has a bad taste. The sugar and the icing is going to override that. And this is the problem. Evil hasn't been addressed. It's not something that's uh, being given from that level anyways because we're in a situation where the, um, thank God for the Jesuit order, um, in this power of providing the system of religion expression, which is open to interpretation and expression, uh, goodwill, respect of law being the foundation, but free will goes a little bit beyond that, it allows people to recreate things, and it doesn't really speak to emotional power and stability uh, which is something that spiritual foundations and mantras cannot cover but it can give different directions and groundwork but if the teachers of this information are not equipped themselves then what happens is we have religious and government separating after the constitution because those who are not geared towards that learning uh, fought for the separation of church and state so we talk about church and state what is state if we are operating under a district there are 50 or so states that represents the district of columbia washington dc being a part of the district of the three cities of the district of columbia so the states, as opposed to church, cannot be really separated if you really think about it. And this is a part of the of the, uh, the Democratic and the Republican divide. Because if the government is founded upon laws that promote respectful living among long space occupancy, then the government must reflect the premise of the law itself not saying that religion should override government but they must walk side by side what is a religion when I speak about religion I'm not talking about uh, Christian and Judaism or Islam Islam we know is the ideology but the two value principle states of religion founded in Judeo-Christian values 
is something that we have in the democracy from the beginning. So how can these two dance along in order to show that both sides of a particular political argument comes out where the whole democracy itself wins and that the argument is able to be exposed and dealt with where the most an aspect of the situation becomes a platform where everyone can uh, not only get an answer but be able to operate in a democracy fairly what is fair play um, so getting back to the Republican thing the Democratic thing like I said my family my parents are always Republican I support what the president is doing right now um, it's a shock to me that since the elections we've seen this divide because of displaced emotions over the uh, outcome. So there'll be more videos, just a little thought gap right now, but I'm definitely gonna get back with you on this um, conservative aspect of being a Republican, American Israeli residing in Canada, but 100% Trump supporter, uh, Republican, peace out.